Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to go from an iPhone 5 or iPhone 4 or whatever you're upgrading from to a new iPhone. In this case, this is the 5S to the 6 Plus. So the first thing we need to do is back up our iPhone. Our current iPhone needs to be backed up either to iTunes or iCloud. Now, if you have iOS 8 and you've updated, you can back up under settings. So what you wanna do is locate your settings icon, go into settings, and then what you want to do is go to iCloud, find your iCloud ID. And as long as you scroll down and you have backup turned on, you can just back up to iCloud. Now, as you can see right here, it'll say iCloud is on. And the last backup was at 1221 AM. While iCloud will back up your photo library accounts, documents, and settings, you should probably back up your photos and videos to a computer, whether that be a Mac or a PC running Windows, you might wanna do that before you go ahead and wipe this phone to make sure you've gotten everything off. Sometimes iCloud, unless you pay for additional service, doesn't necessarily back up all of your photos above about a thousand of them and all of your videos. So make sure you've, you've offloaded those first by plugging into iTunes and just syncing or you can back up that way. And I can show you that as well. Now, once this is backed up, what we'll do is set up our new device. So I'll wait for this to finish. It's about one minute left. And once this is finished, we can turn on the new device and restore to that. The backup's now completed. You can see it took a couple minutes. Now that it's complete, let's move over to our new device. Now, most of the time, if you're not aware, once you switch, they'll automatically switch it to your new device. No need to swap SIM cards usually or anything along those lines. Let's turn this one on for the first time. The phone is booted up. Let's just slide and we'll go through the setup. Now you're obviously going to pick your native language or whatever language you want to use and the country you live in and then if you're in the area where you have a wi-fi connection you're going to choose your wi-fi connection you can use cellular as you saw below once you've got your password in hit join it will join it will take just a moment it's connected and it's going to activate my phone now that it's activated you can either enable location services or disable this. Now you can do this later. So if you don't want this on later, you can turn it off. I suggest if you're going to use maps and navigation, you want to enable it. Here you have the option to set up as a new phone or restore from the iCloud backup or an iTunes backup. So depending on where you have your backup, in this case, we're going to restore from the iCloud backup and I'm going to put in my Apple ID. Once you have your iCloud ID in, hit next. You're going to have to agree to the terms and conditions in order to proceed. So you want to go ahead and agree to that. And this may take a moment to set up the Apple ID. Now it's going to look for any backups or anything like that. And it's going to take a moment to just set up and that just let it sit here. And depending on your Wi-Fi connection, how busy Apple's connection is, this could take a while. But as you can see here, we have a backup from today that we just did on my iPhone 5S to move to this phone. We'll go ahead and restore that one. And this is going to take some time. It can take sometimes up to an hour. I've seen it say two hours, but generally about five to 15 minutes depending. So we're going to let this run. And once this is restored, it will pull all our data over and then it will start restoring apps and things. So you can actually use the device while it's doing that. So this is going to take some time and we'll come back when it's finished. The phone restored and rebooted, it brought us back to the hello screen. And you can see it says update complete. We'll hit continue and we have to put in our ID again. Once you're done, hit next. You can skip this, but you'll lose a lot of those features. So we'll wait for it to update the iCloud settings. And in this screen, you're going to see all the different numbers you might have and IDs you might want people to message you at. Now in this step, we're going to set up touch ID. That's the fingerprint reader on the bottom here. We'll set it up. And what you want to do is put your thumb down and keep lifting it and move it around a little bit. It's trying to read your thumbprint. So we'll put it down. And then it wants you to change your grip and we'll hit continue. And as you use this, it does get better, at least in my experience continue and you can set up additional fingers later so set up a passcode next 
you can create a more secure passcode as well. And as you can see here, I use something called iCloud Keychain. And what this does is store my passwords to many different websites across my iPad and my Mac. You can either not use it or approve it from another device or use your iCloud security code. I'll just approve it from another device. Here we have a new option. This is for the bigger displays and it allows you to have two different views. So we'll choose the standard view. You can see it looks good. Maybe we want to see everything bigger. We can use the zoomed view. Just up to you. You can see it gives you an idea. I'll just use the standard so I get more on the screen instead of having everything just bigger. Once you've decided, hit next and it says welcome to iPhone. Go ahead and get started and if you're restoring, you'll see it restores everything right now and I don't know why I've got that email, but you can see it popped up a thing and says, use this device, and it keeps popping up settings. So we'll cancel that. It says, use this device to share your locations in messages and find my friends. I actually use this feature, so if you share your location with, say, your family, go ahead and hit use, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you have the 6 Plus, the 64 gigabyte 6 or 6 Plus, you'll get these apps for free if you don't have them already. So that's a nice little feature as well. So that's pretty much it as far as the first setup goes. Now you can use it. A quick tip for these larger phones, just double tap the home button. It brings everything down so you can reach it. Double tap again. Don't click. Double tap. If you double click, it actually brings up this dialog. So quick little tip there. Other than that, that's how you set up and restore your phone. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.